Hundreds of thousands of young people have been gathering in the Russian capital for the country's biggest street festival. There are no traditional sports, but those taking part are living the dream. Mikhail Kuchikov went along to find out more. A raving crowd surrounded Moscow's Luzhniki Stadium this weekend. 250,000 teenagers from the capital and Russia's largest cities gathered for Abenia, the country's ultimate street festival. With its Russian name translated as Sis and Me, the event's focus is on urban sport and entertainment. The top attractions this year are BMX disciplines. They involve specialized bikes with several metal pegs for performing various tricks. When successful, it's fascinating, but less like a riders face serious injuries. But how long does it take to master these stunts? Oh, okay, it depends, it depends on uh, the trick difficulty. Uh, the easiest ones uh, need, uh, well, a couple of days. Uh, the most difficult ones, they uh, need, well, sometimes years. BMXs are also used in flatland. It doesn't require a ramp. But that doesn't make the tricks less sophisticated. There's a place for any world object at the festival. Whenever it's accompanied by an adrenaline-addicted sportsman, of course. Some of those competing at the festival don't need props or vehicles to show off their talents. Two decades after the breakdowns culture first appeared in Russia, a new generation of talented dancers is emerging. This may also resemble a dance, though a weird one. But in fact, it's footback freestyle. Urbane is not only about sport, art is also covered, at least its street variety. These are our graffiti representations. See, he's a cute kind of skull, and I'm a charming rabbit. We don't have some special concept. <laughs> those not showing off, as well as those tired of watching them, group around the main scene. It hosts the final of a musical contest held in 10 Russian cities to pick the best alternative band. The rap core and new metal musicians are through to the finals. But the audience doesn't welcome all of them. Plastic bottles, lighters and chocolate bars became the ammunition for the less sobbing members of the audience. They have enough energy to try breaking the police cordon, but give up without any violence. After all, they're just craving fun, as all the teenagers do worldwide. Mikhail Kochikov, Russia Today, Moscow.